Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. This is going to be the 26th episode in our playthrough of the Egypt series, or part 2 of Declare War and Frigia once again. So let's resume right here after we fix those, um, kind of rebelling provinces. She's definitely a problem, and now they're all just going up. Probably mostly because of harsh treatment, and she's also a bit better. You can see that it is, she is going plus 12. Instead of minus 4, and looks like we want a siege over here. Which is nice. So it's not our one of the armies is still trapped right there from when we were at war you see that we i think that was one of the first battles alexander the great because we, we are at war as pretty much always i don't think we've ever actually chosen an omen that's not that one looks like that army that did take this is heading up and the starfish nation finally has access to the war instead of me being like claim war on someone that they can't get to so we have two pretty large armies over here, which is good. It looks like Phrygia, 25 cohorts and 1,800 men are currently missing. We'll just give them some there who does need a job. Looks like we do still have this person to sell. That's not a problem. He's not too powerful. And all the, yep, all those provinces are going up in loyalty. Looks like we do have some things up here. They're kind of slowly kind of appearing and then unappearing, that would be blockaded ports. There is the friggin' arm navy in its full force. The entirety of it. As you can see, they are, yeah, a lot more powerful and has a ton of octrays. Which we do not have locked up. We have one of them, and they are like the most powerful, pretty much, um, kind of boat. So we definitely don't want to attack them. They should really be spending their money, though, on getting more troops to defend their land rather than navy just to kind of sail around and look for our navy, which is hiding over here. And they can't really even see over there, so we're fine. And then just trying to look for popularity. Looks like we can lose it, so we'll try and get this one. That'll get our popularity to start going up. And then research are needed. I can pause. We'll just go with whichever. Left me, it looks like they lost a ton of jobs. I guess the first time they've been under 10 in a long while. So I'm laying siege to a lot of things. And so it looks like Navy. You know, I did not put you on infant operations. I'm assuming this person is disloyal. No. So we killed their ships, but why are you out of port? Yep, just a little. If you get my navy destroyed, I'm not going to be happy at all. Actually, nope, it'll let me change the commander. Normally, it doesn't do that. They'll say they refuse to be changed. No, that person's also disloyal. No, they're... They've, they've, okay, there we go. Normally, it doesn't let you change the commander, but in that case, I guess it did, it did which is good for us because she would have probably gotten the navy destroyed. Just sailing around and then encountered Frigga's navy. Looks like we could definitely take a lot of land. This is the land we need over here. Actually, if we can reset and let's see exactly what we do need. So this bit, this bit, and well, this already over here. So we can just actually, looks like we can have both screens open at the same time. So we can get that. We can definitely, will not get that yet, but we should be able to soon. Try and get that extra bit of land right there. And so let's, well that is actually above what's possible. So we might have to unselect this one port. Um, 100. And so we'll just let this keep going on. You can see Monsa War is negative 27. So we should be able to get a lot. Maybe we can find a better offer later on. And we actually do want to take this out because we do need that for the mission. So we'll make, I'll make sure to try and remember that. They'll probably forget, hopefully I don't. It's a ton of things. Lucid Empires also has some troops. Frigate does look like they've occupied some of the land. That's the only friggin' army I've seen, even though I don't see them. Yep, we've only lost. This is the, probably the least bloody war in our entire history. We've literally only lost zero troops and occupying pretty much the entirety of Frigia, which is a pretty big landmass. Frigate's definitely was having a good, really good game before, but now they've kind of, well, they're not anymore. So we have to make sure to get this. That will give us a lot of, yep, that is pretty expensive, although we do need it. That is because it's an entire country. 
So we can reset these. So make sure to take this. We want this as well. And I think we need like this little bit right here. And that does work. And then we need something over here. I don't know which one it is. We could take this, this little island right there so we don't have to worry about it. And we only have four more or six more even possible like score. So we maybe like take these. Nope, that's that's over. I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna be able to get up. Oh, looks like we'll be able to get that capital. And so that's gonna be about it for this war. I mean that is literally the maximum. I'm sure we could find one more tile that we could take. That's kinda gonna be annoying to have to unselect all of these. Okay, we can get 99. So yeah, we're just gonna hit that. That was we had two above. And now our popularity is at 100. We did just win a pretty big war. And now we can fix finish that mission. And we can go into decisions and hit Imperial Ambition. We will lose 10 stability. That's fine. Stability drop. And then we are now a... Well, we now have to do reselect our decisions. You can see that this is pretty good. National Slave and National Freeman output. And so we definitely want that. And now we do have literally everything um, available. So we can just kind of scroll through here. We could go National Manpower. Though I'm thinking we're just going to go with more Alpha Armies. That's always useful. Even though it's one of the starting ones, it's still pretty good. We could definitely go with province or commerce income or slave output. We're actually going to go with that one. And then oratory ideas, looks like. We're on culture happiness. That's definitely what we're going to do. I'm not even going to look at the other ones because we do have high grass expansion and that does contribute to our own culture well, not being happy. And then war exhaustion, um, and power. Looks like there is a lot of things we could do here. We're actually going to go with pop conversion speed because if you remember, literally everything that we own has been all of our land is not all, all culture, or sorry, all our culture. Can't say are for some reason today, except this a little bit. Not even our capital is our culture, which is kind of annoying. So we do have a governor. And the only reason that it, where it's bad that it's not our culture is because of that aggressive expansion, and then that does can lead to well that those disloyal things that that was fixed pretty easily. So it says something is able to be uh, we did take that land, and then we'll just have to finish these. We really I think only need to control this one bit of yeah. Not sure how I missed that. Well then. Seems like we'll have to go to War of the Frig again, which I'm perfectly fine with considering how this war went, which was, okay, really well. So in order to complete that mission, we do need to still get this, and then it's really pretty easy to finish that up. Although, uh, looks like I forgot that one little tile with a fort on it. Well, then we're going to have to go with War of the Frigate again, which is perfectly fine. We could just take more land. I'm not just going just for that one tile. We'll take probably a lot of this a little bit. We kind of penetrating right into the heart of Frigate right here. But that is going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching, and I will see you again next time. See so, yeah. ya.